asking here, so can you charge a Tesla at an EVgo CCS1 charging station? Yes, you can, but you need to have the CCS1 to Tesla NACS adapter. This is a DC only fast charging adapter. It's different than a J1772 to Tesla adapter, which is very simple and small. And before you purchase one of these adapters, you have to make sure your car supports CCS charging. Go to the menus and choose software and then about vehicle and it will show you. If it doesn't say CCS enabled, then you won't be able to use one of these adapters. Tesla doesn't show CCS fast chargers on the map. They only show superchargers. You can't precondition when you go into a CCS one charger, unless there's a supercharger nearby that you could set as your destination, but then you'd probably just want to go to the supercharger. Okay, so I inserted the adapter and plugged the car in, and then I activated the charger, Seamus, with the EVgo app. Within about 20 seconds, it started charging. Charging at this EVgo in Manchester, Connecticut is pretty pricey. 64 cents a kilowatt hour plus a dollar transaction fee. But the stations are brand new and they all seem to be working. This actually had a Chatamo connector on it also. And the parking layout wasn't really good for a Tesla. I had to pull to the left of the parking spot to be able to reach with the cable. Now in this case, this is a supercharger nearby, so I'd probably never really use this EVgo, but in some situations, when there isn't a supercharger, having this adapter and being able to charge an EVgo would save This you. is supposed to be a fast charger, 100 kilowatt, but it's only pulling 53. It's probably splitting between the stall next to me. Now there are 350 kilowatt chargers at this site also, but they were taken. It's not so bad to even charge at 50 kilowatts because there's a Whole Foods and a Panera nearby, so you could easily add quite a bit of range while you're shopping. But it's working well. This is the first time I've CCS charged this new 2024 Tesla Model 3 Highland Performance and it worked the first time. So it's nice to do. Tesla's not showing these chargers on the app. I wish that they would allow you to add them to the maps if you have a CCS enabled car and the correct adapter. There you go. Remember to like and subscribe for more videos about Tesla, Rivian, Wi-Fi, and tech products.